What's up everyone? This is SketchUp Setup and today I'll be showing you how to use the subdivision tool also known as SubD, a plugin from Thomas. So let's start. So this is the toolbar for the SubD tool. This is where you enable your subdivision. This is where you increase your subdivisions. On the side, it's the decrease subdivision tool. I am just going to create a cube right now. In case you didn't know, the purpose of the subd plugin is to create organic geometry from low poly geometry. You will see as we go through this demonstration video. I'm just going to group this cube so that I could enable the subdivision tool. And right now you could see the subdivision tool is working. And you could see the cube that we produced earlier was turned to a perfect sphere. Just by pressing a few buttons on the sub D toolbar. You could also see that as we press the green cube that has a plus on it, it increases the subdivision as we press it again and again. And then the red button meanwhile do the opposite which is unsubdividing the geometry inside so that it will become its initial shape. You can see that they also have a tool to disable the lines inside the subdivided um, geometry so that it will appear to be smooth. As I enable the hidden geometry and also um, enable the uh, showing of the lines. You could see there's a lot of subdivided quads inside that, is, that looks like a curve. And as I disable the sub D button, it goes back to a cube. And it goes back again to a circle as I push it, as I press it. See how much the difference between every iteration that you when you, whenever you click the button you could see it is increasing in terms of chords when I repeatedly press the button as I enable the hidden geometry to probably affect your computer performance as you increase the subdivision so I would advise to use the least amount of subdividing iterations while modeling to improve performance.